Hello guys, in today's video we are going to learn about a family of algorithms that offer faster, unguaranteed runtimes depend on the input but guaranteed correctness. This family of randomized algorithms, named after the world's capital gaming city Las Vegas, Las Vegas algorithms commonly used in search problems and on artificial intelligence applications. Today I will show you a sorting Las Vegas algorithm called Quicksort. But before getting into the action, let's match our expectations. I'm studying this topic by myself, and my videos depend on the wisdom of the crowd, a topic that really fascinates me. Therefore, if you find any mistake in what I say, please let me know in the comment section below. I promise to read all comments and re-upload if necessary. Also, please subscribe to my channel. I tend to upload many videos on this topic. Alrighty, let's get to the action. Alrighty, Las Vegas algorithms, quick sort. Quick sort is a classic sorting algorithm which selects a random variable uniformly from the array we wish to sort. We are calling the lucky variable the pivot, and for every variable, in the array, the algorithm compares it to the pivot and place it either in left of it if it is smaller or right to the pivot if, the, if it is larger than the pivot. This process takes ON and in the end of the iteration, we know that the pivot is in its precise position in the array. We recursively continue left to the previous pivot and right to it, divide and conquer principle until we sorted the entire array. If we selected a pivot which its intended position is somewhere in the middle of the values, the algorithm will complete its work in O n multiplied by log n time and can be calculated with the following formula T n equals to T of n divided by 2 plus O n which equals to, as I said, O n multiplied by log n. If we are unlucky, however, and the pivot selected were among the smallest or largest available elements, then we would approach runtime similar to the naive algorithm T n equals T n minus 1 plus O n, which equals to approximately O n to the power of 2. Alrighty. Let's see an example. Say we receive the unsorted array 4, 3, 2, 1. We are choosing a random variable named the pivot. Say it is 1. This one. Great. We are comparing all variables to 1. So 4 is larger than 1. Same as 3 and 2. And therefore, after this iteration, we would end with the array 1, 4, 3, 2. Again, we haven't sorted anything with uh, the variables 4, 3, and 2. We just put it to the right of 1 because we found out that 1 is lesser than all other variables. Now, the previous pivot, 1, is on its correct position. We would sort the rest of the array. Next, say the pivot randomly chosen is 3, this one. Okay, we will compare it to the variable 4 and the variable 2. And since 4 is more than 3 and 2 is lesser than uh, 3, therefore, after this iteration, we would end with the array 1, 2, 3, 4, which is sorted. That means that we finished, that the algorithm finished its, its work. Now, Say that we also add the elements 1 and a half and 5. Okay, so on the next iteration, we would sort the subarrays 1 and a half and 2 and the subarray 4 and 5. Again, we wouldn't touch 3 because it would be placed between these four variables. Great. Well, that's about it. I hope you learned something new from this video. And please comment below with your thoughts. First degree studies in university are all about social studies, and this project comes to encourage that, even through complicated situations most of us are going through right now. Please subscribe to my channel. 
Until next time, good luck.